So where I'd like to move on to next is then start to think about well, what are the raw ingredients that go into these main body paragraphs? And I'm going to model an introduction for you, but I want to first of all look at the ingredients that we put into main body paragraphs. Now I always think of writing main body paragraphs a bit like we've talked about this before, it's a bit like baking a cake. Now, when I bake a cake, I don't care what order I put the ingredients in. Okay? As long as the ingredients <laughs> are all there. And it's the same with this. Subsequently, I've been told that that's not a good idea. One should never mix the ingredients. They should be done in specific orders. But for the purposes of the metaphor that I'm using here, you can put these in in any order. Okay? Obviously, there's a sensible logical sequence to some of them. It wouldn't, wouldn't make sense um, to put them in a different, or in some of them in very different order, but there is a degree of flexibility. So the first um, ingredient that needs to go into your main body paragraph is an address of the task. Okay, which basically means to write a statement that responds to the task. Then link the task to the literary technique that you will be evaluating. <coughs> then evidence the point that you've made, which preferably should always come in the form of a, a quotation. But what I would say to you is if you are in the exam and you've constructed a brilliant line of argument and you suddenly think, I can't remember that quote from my quote bank, or you think, I haven't got a quote on my quote bank, the evidence is this. You can use what they call textual evidence which means that you refer to a specific, very specific part of the text, a specific incident within the text. Don't try and create quotations. A few of you were quite creative in your quotations in the prelim. Particularly, Street Car Name Desire is a well-known text, and I would suspect that most, if not all, markers will know the text really well. And if you misquote it, the chances are it will be spotted. Okay. Uh, how much they penalise that, penalise you for that, I suppose, will depend on the frequency with which you do it um, and the extent to which you do it. So if you're completely making up quotes just to fit the line of argument, then I suspect they uh, will be that more of a serious issue than maybe a one or two word slip. So evidence quotation, the point that you just made, and then you need to contextualise the quotes. And this is the point where I link beautifully to my YouTube channel and say to you, context is all. Although I've just said to you that your marker will definitively know streetcar name desire, you have to assume, you absolutely have to assume that they don't know the same. And you are fully explaining the context in which this quotation comes. What is happening at this particular point in the text. So you are assuming that the person reading your critical essay has never read Streetcar Named Desire. So you are taking them through it from the basic level right up to the more complex level looking at the techniques that you've used. Once you've then contextualised the quote, you then need to link the quote back to the task. And in this case, what we're talking about is thinking about the thematic <coughs> And in this case, we're thinking about the thematic link. Now, in all probability, she said tentatively, the second part of the question is going to always have this thematic link. So you're always going to have to look at the way in which the writer does something that helps you understand, uh, clarifies, or explores a particular theme. Hypothetically, you, you will always have to do that. I cannot think of an example where they would go to a different focus, but it is, it is potentially possible, hence why I have to obviously mention it. So, those are the ingredients. You can put those in whichever order um, suits the line of argument that you are constructing. Sometimes, from a writing purpose, contextualising the quote before you actually put it in comes natural, because it's help, it helping you to clarify in your own mind, and that's absolutely fine to do that. So, as I said with the cake, it doesn't matter as long as the ingredients are all in there, whisk them around, put them in the oven, it will produce cake regardless. Okay? So those are your raw ingredients that you need to make sure in each of your main body paragraphs. 